Hi, my name is Jinx, and I'm a film and TV composer. Uh, today, I'd like to talk about uh, the Fader Port uh, Production Controller and uh, its functionality as a CC MIDI controller, in addition to being a regular DAW controller. Uh, now, for those of you who don't know, the Fader Port is a MIDI controller that uh, helps to control your DAW without having to use the mouse or your computer keyboard. Uh, so basically, uh, you know, for example, it's you can control um, the levels uh, uh, of your of your DAW, um, and uh, it basically helps a lot in in, in the mix process, especially. Uh, but uh, when I was looking for some for a controller to to get, uh, there were a few options. Uh, one of them uh, was the uh, the Behringer X Touch. Uh, and uh, I, I was thinking that was a pretty uh, good option, but uh, then I found out the X-Touch that I was looking at did not have the MIDI CC controller functionality, uh, which would be a lot of help, especially if you're a film composer, um, to control your samples uh, in, in terms of the expressiveness. So um, I was looking around, and uh, Faderport was also an option, but I wasn't sure if it would be able to control uh, uh, CC messages. So um, I looked around and I found uh, on YouTube uh, another composer from, I think, Taiwan. And uh, he basically showed a video that uh, showed that you could do that. You could actually control uh, MIDI, MIDI messages, uh, MIDI CC uh, messages using the controller. Uh, so I followed. I tried to follow the instructions as best I could, but I couldn't follow. I couldn't do one of the steps. I couldn't get uh, get it to work. Uh, and then I realized that uh, it's probably because uh, I had updated the firmware on my machine uh, to the latest firmware. Uh, as of this video, is two point zero two, and so maybe. Uh, the manufacturer may have changed some of the implementation of the CZ controller. So I um, tried all turning the different knobs and I found uh, a way to do it for the latest firmware, which is basically uh, like this. You uh, select the uh, MIDI channel right here and all you have to do is go to um, the MIDI insert section, just treat it as a regular effect and uh, select MIDI control. Now you will see all the different uh, CC, uh, well not all, but <laughs> some of them. Uh, you can you can change them later, but uh, these these are the defaults. It comes out this, this way. Now all you have to do here is uh, from the track, just switch it to the edit plugins mode. Now when you do that it goes to the effects it, now but you just need to change it. Just go to the, the, the pan knob on the left here and switch it. Just kind of turn it a little bit to the right and it becomes a controller for all the CC messages that you see on the screen right there. So for example if I were to move this one it would change CC1, the modulation, and in this case breath, but you can al always change it. So basically the, the eight, the eight um, sliders here would control uh, eight different CC channels. Uh, you can always change it to a different CC number uh, and it will control that. And of course, you can just go to whichever samples you're using and uh, uh, change the CC designation for the, for that one. So basically, you'll be able to um, control your CCs from there. So the only difference between um, the instructions that you have on uh, Bo Bo Sun Lin's video is the fact that you need to uh, just turn the, the knob here to go to the MIDI section of, of uh, the effects and you'll be able to see um, 
the MIDI message is changing. For example, if I were to select it like this, for example, if I were to choose this to be volume control. Now, if you want to see the controls being changed here, I can show this to you now. For example, CC1. So it will be reflected on there. Okay, so basically that's it. I hope this helps you. Um, this is Jinx. I'll see you in the next video.